Hello everybody, this is Yakuza to my reactions, and this is going to be my review for Skeleton Knight in Another World, Episode 1. Yes, it finally got a dub. It finally got an English dub. <clears throat> Though, there is a warning in it, obviously, that some scenes are disturbing, and obviously, because as soon as that, that message goes away, it opens into an attempted rape scene. And thankfully, it shows the main character showing up and saving them before they get a chance to get to the nasty bits. However, it also, after it does that, it ends up going straight to when he wakes up and realizes that he's in his avatar's body and everything. I'm assuming he's not in the game world. I'm assuming he's in an actual world based on the game, maybe. And um, he tries to find a town because he's apparently hungry. And when we realize he's a skeleton, kind of like what Ainz is, I'm like, do you even have the ability to eat and have it sustain you? Because it's, his stomach was growling, which indicates that he has a stomach. So what part of him is a skeleton and what part is it besides the head? That's what I'd like to know. And he did actually mention that in his game avatar, he had used a backstory that he was actually cursed. And that he's trying to find a way to reverse the curse so he can look normal again. I mean, why don't you use that as your backstory? You don't have to, keep, you don't have to give out details unless you can come up with something that would make sense in this world. Because we don't know what makes sense in this world. And he tries to join the mercenary guild. So he can earn some money so he can get some dang food because his stomach is hungry. Which, like I said, still makes no sense to me. Like, what part of him is skeleton and what's not? Anyway, he ends up killing off some an orc and some giant boars, I guess. And he ends up coming across the bandits, like I said. And we are treated to that same dang scene again. I don't want to see it twice. And I'm pretty sure nobody else does either. And he's got there before that scene started so why didn't you step in even if you're outnumbered that armor he's wearing looks like it would protect him very very well even if it was just regular heavy plate armor it still looked like it could take a few hits before and he could take out a few enemies when he did that thankfully he does step in and kills up all the bandits and and saves them instead essentially leads them back to town and he gets food and actually he can eat and I'm like okay so I'm guessing that we're that's not gonna be the last we're gonna see of those two girls because I'm guessing that the lady the high noble lady is going to be interested in this guy wondering who he is what he's all about how, you know want to meet him essentially what's she gonna think when she sees his head I don't know Anyway, this seems like a very good, interesting premise. Like, what if Irons had been good? Essentially. That's what the pre- That's what, like a what if. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.